Uh, but to go back to uh, Courage to Grow, it was you know just a mix of uh, a lot of reggae rock and new songs such as such as Out of Control. Um, you know, has more funk influence it seems. Um, do you think the band sound as a whole is evolving? The more songs you're writing, and you know, like like the larger crowds you're playing for, and like the more shows that that you're playing as well. Definitely, uh, we definitely feel like we're evolving as a band. Um, it's kind of funny because uh, we've been playing, you know, Safe and Sound and Attention Span for it seems like a long time now. Those are like some of the first songs we ever recorded, and now we look back at it and we're like, wow, you know. It's, We've grown so much since then, and uh, yeah, like you said, Out of Control is definitely a different kind of song. It's got more funk and kind of that poppy vibe to it, and um, we're really trying to search for ways to expand reggae music as a whole and, and try to implement different kinds of uh, you know styles into it, and so we've always been down with that since day one, but um, you know, music is really unlimited, and so you know, there's tons of new things that are coming to our, you know, our minds, and um, so yeah, d even even after this album, you can expect you know even more, probably genre bending type stuff. We're definitely into that. Very cool. So um, as mentioned before, you guys are out on tour with um, po the politically driven state radio, who sings about uh, songs such as um, you know that have an influence of uh, you know the, of issues such as genocide, human rights, and talking about the wars um, that are going on right now. Are there any uh, social issues that you guys are really passionate about? I'll take that one again. Uh, you know, like a song like Change the System is about gun violence. And, you know, we don't like, we're not trying to be preachy. Like, uh, you know, I never like to stop the music and like talk directly about one certain issue and be like, you know, crazy about it. That's what the music is for. Like, and people can interpret, can interpret it how they want to, you know. But um, definitely something that like we all agree in is, you know, staying like nonviolent and like part of the reason we have the name revolution is to be rebels through music and not not violently you know and uh, we feel like the word rebel has kind of a negative connotation sometimes to people so it's cool to kind of put that word out in the form of music and like definitely our our message is you know positivity it's not our only message we talk about a lot of different things but when you come to a show like that's what we want to give off is that sort of positive vibe and just you know just c come here to, to be with everybody and uh, it's cool we've like really started kind of like a revolution community now like people come out and they're like I've seen you know seven of your shows and like you know in California and here I am out here in Boulder or whatever and it's uh it's really cool but back to the other thing we, we have a song about intelligent design too it's about teaching evolution in schools and uh, so I think uh, the next album has a couple songs uh, that are um, definitely politically and socially charged too. Like we're definitely gonna stick with that. So, um, and state to answer that, state radio. This is going. I'm going on for a while here, but state radio definitely has a a, a very important and awesome message. And they, uh, I you know, we definitely are right there with them on, on a lot of the issues that they talk about for sure. Uh, and in some previous uh, interviews that we had checked out before heading out here. Um, Marley had said something about like um, the the ocean and re revolution is kind of like the solution. So I, I don't know if you want to expand on what you may might think that the solution is. Uh, well, I mean, pretty much what Eric was saying is like we we want to come out to the shows and and just move as one, you know. And uh, you know, one of the favorite quotes that we hear a lot when we go to Reggae Rising is the message is in the music and the music is in the message and. Uh, you know, s having this, this this community and stuff is just, it is a solution, you know. It's it's an escape from a lot of stress out in the world, a lot of gnarly violent things that are going on, you know. So I think when we do our show, that's that's like, it's kind of where I was going at with the, the ocean. But, you know, I say weird stuff sometimes, so don't quote me on everything, all right? <laughs> uh, so you guys have been out on the road now for a little over uh, two weeks, and we'll end your tour um as it says on MySpace, uh, MySpace uh, March 7th at the Longarada Festival in Miami, Florida. Uh, being on the road for almost two months and playing five, six, maybe seven shows a week, uh, we were wondering if there are any rituals or traditions while on the road that you might do uh, before or after the show as a band or uh, as an individual. 
I like to beat my chest and do like crazy like Pacific Islander dances and stick my eyeballs out and my tongue and just freak everybody out for a second. <laughs> yeah, along those lines, we all have like stretches that we kind of do. His are just weird ones where he just stretches his face out. And then uh, Roy and I kind of like loosen our arms up. Eric gets his uh, vocals going. So like, yeah, before, before the show, kind of just get hydrated and, and stretch out a little bit. And go, go to some qu someplace quiet in the club because it's kind of hard to find like solace in your busy environment like that. So kind of clear your mind before the show. And then afterward, when the, all the pressure's off, just have fun. Yeah, I do about 10 hits of acid before I hit the stage. And that uh, really just puts me in that, that mood, you know. Uh, I don't know, every, every show is different. Sometimes, like, <laughs> sometimes I'll, like, warm up. Sometimes I'm just like, oh, here, here we go, ready to go right here. And, uh, well, you got any, uh, any, anything more? Not really. It's like, I don't have, like, a consistent ritual at all, you know, besides, like, maybe stretching my hands out. But, I don't know. It's, it's, it's some of the funnest shows are when we're actually, like, talking to a bunch of friends and hanging out before. You're not really thinking about doing the show. You're just kind of cruising and having fun, you know. And then, oh, I get to go play music. 